forecast later on in Maine weather. Jabari. All right, Reggie, thank you. Well, it's been a busy two weeks since President Donald Trump took office, showing his voters he's a man of action, signing executive order one order after the next. WVUA 23's Justina Benoob joins us live from the newsroom with more. Justina. Well, Jabari, you might have heard the words executive order, actions, memorandums, and proclamations thrown around in the last few weeks. But what do they all mean? Well, I went and found out. At the practice of issuing executive orders in the early days of an administration, is pretty common, at least in the modern presidency. The president often wants to um, show some boldness, show some change in the direction of the government, um, show that he or she is keeping uh, promises made during the campaign. And it's no secret that President Donald Trump has been busy putting his name on more than a dozen executive orders, memorandums, and proclamations. And trying to understand them all can be daunting. So I seek advice from a professor at the University of Alabama Law School. Professor Paul Horwitz says there's nothing in the Constitution that authorizes presidents to issue executive orders and memorandums. These are all kind of after-the-fact labels um, for customs that have come along. However, according to the Congressional Research Service, issuing both is considered an inherent aspect of presidential power, an action by the president. But Horowitz says don't focus so much on the name. Each document has its own distinction you should pay close attention to. The name is less important. What matters uh, more is whether it's the kind of action that comes from some authority uh, and affects uh, the rights and duties of other people, whether it's people outside government or uh, people inside the executive branch, or whether they're just, um, for instance, a statement of policy or an announcement of some kind. A statement such as Trump proclaiming February American Heart Month. But whether Trump signs an executive order to stop people from certain countries from entering the U.S., or a memorandum on rebuilding the U.S. armed forces, remember one thing. Is this a presidential action, a written presidential action uh, that is um, directing government officials to act in a particular way? And does it have legal authority? We also have an update on Trump's travel ban. After a judge put his executive order on hold Friday night, his administration is moving forward to appeal that court ruling. Reporting live from the newsroom, Yostina Banup, WVUA 23 News. All right, Yostina, thank you. Well, we're only three 